Hello and welcome to Fine Arts Channel. Today I have here with me a Belova men's watch, um, which is um, quite old. Um, I don't know exactly how old, because I could not identify this watch, but um, I'm fairly certain that is it is an authentic Belova. I picked this up at a garage sale for 33 cents, along with two other watches, one of which was a Seiko watch. Um, actually this one here, which I drew in another video. I looked this up and a watch similar to this was going on eBay for about $100, so I made my money back in a big way. But today we're going to be restoring this one and um, it has a lot of scratches on the glass so much that it is clouded over, and then some more minor abrasions on the case. I've already gone ahead and taken the back of this watch off. And um, here's the back, which you can see we'll also be polishing this up. This is a plastic ring that goes around here to align everything, and that um, just came out in the process. So the first step in this restoration is going to be taking the watch assembly out of the watch so we have easier access to the rest of the case. Let's get started. Now I want to mention here quickly that this watch actually does run, so there will be no need for restoration on the inside. Now we need to remove the crown in order to get it out of the watch case, and to do that um, the case itself actually points out a place that says press here to release stem, and um, usually there would be a little indent right there where you could push and this thing would just pull out. But um, I spent around two hours looking for that pin and I could not find it. Um, but in the process, I did end up just removing the entire crown assembly, which I then reassembled. But we're going to disassemble it here again today. And um, just by removing three parts in this region right here, the crown slides out and we are able to get the rest of the mechanism out of the watch as well. So I'm going to do that here and then we'll be on our way. All right, we're ready to begin sanding. I have a bunch of sandpaper here with grits ranging from 600 to 3000. 3000 is the finest grit and 600 is the most coarse. In addition to sanding, I'm also going to be giving each part a wash of isopropyl alcohol. And um, I'm going to be trying to preserve the original finishes on each of these parts um, to preserve the originality. Alright, so um, many of the deeper scratches have been taken out of the glass, and um, this back piece has been polished, and the crown has been buffed up. I chose not to go after um, the rest of the case, as um, it was in pretty good condition to begin with, and I didn't see um, a lot of reason to go in through all the grits and spend all that time um, just to get out a few minor scratches. You may have seen me using this um, in the time lapse. It is um, shoe polish, and um, when you rub it on the glass, even if it is not perfectly clear, it um, whatever polish is in here fills in the little gaps, 
and um, it will become quite clear, as you can see. All right, here it is, our restored Belova watch. I'm really happy with the results considering its original condition and considering the fact that we didn't do everything that could have been done on the repair. I think it looks really great. Um, that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching till the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.